Hi everyone, welcome to our channel, First We Play. I am Brian, leader of Team Obsidian Gaming. We won the team event at the San Diego celebrations in March. And we hope you enjoy our first video. In this video, I'm playing Janemba Tricolor and my brother Edward is playing Oolong GT. So let's get right into it. So he charges on energy, he plays Goku, he's searching. He searches the top five. Gets another Goku. So he's going first, which is already kind of bad. Right? So you, with Janemba, you usually want to go first so you could charge the dual colors. So then he does, he passes to me. See, like I said, like you charge the dual colors. I didn't want to do that. And I wanted to play the blue energy first, but. I kind of force into playing the blue yellow because you want to have it ready to play your counters. All right, so the attack, he moves two, he takes it, he pass, he charges another counter, which is kind of obvious since Janemba Tricolor doesn't really play anything. They just attack with the leader, right? So then he attacks me. Yeah, yeah, he attacks me. All right, with Pilaf, what he does is that he gives the battle card 5k and then you could search for a dragon ball so that's what he's doing right now he's searching for a dragon ball so now the pink size is 10k to my 10k janemba and i'm tapped out so right here we had some technical difficulties so that's why i kind of faded into that all right so i'm shuffling his life give it back to him So I right here I'm pretty sure I'm gonna take it because there's some some top down and there's I don't really want to combo anything right now. Yeah, so I take it. And then I right hear is where he I kind of forgot that he was running this car. Let me see if he's placed it right now. Yeah, so there's the new desires, right? Especially with Pilaf, you could play it for free, but he didn't do it this time because he's not awakened yet. So he gets the D Vegeta. Then the good thing with the Wish Leaders is that card lets you get two Dragon Balls to your hand, so he's gonna add two more Dragon Balls. So because of this car, now Pilaf is not that bad because before you could only search one Dragon Ball at a time. But now because of this car, you basically already searched three cards because he attacked me once the turn before. And then he already had three, no, two, I mean one more in hand, so he did three. That's going to attack me, take two life. He's gonna activate Pilaf's effect to search for another Dragon Ball. Let's see if he does it right now. No, oh, he already had it in hand. So then that's it. Right here, we kind of talked about it. He kind of misplay a little bit he could have attacked again with digging deep since i'm not gonna do really anything to him and then but he said he forgot and then he just passed then that's when i charged the dual color beers since i already had a dual color he doesn't have the exhaust see like like i said like all i can do is just attack with the leader and i'm just gonna pass because I cannot really summon anything. That's no point. So that's why it's. I don't really. I'm not really a big fan of the tricolor Chanamba. Kinda. I'm just playing it right now to try it out, but. I still that, like. I still like the mono blue. Nice. Right, so he charges the Piccolo. Since. He already has most of the Dragon Balls. I think he only, yeah, I think he only is missing like one more. So that's why he charges that card. Then summons pink size. 
Search as top five. And then let's see what he does here. So he attacks with pink size, so Zalero's gonna give him 5k, making that a 10k. He had out on the gate. Let's see. That's yeah, so why he searches for the Dragon Ball. I think that's the last one he needed. And then he combos the Goku, the one that when you are at 4 life. On the fury becomes a five drop. So it combos that one with digging deep Vegeta. So right now he's attacking with 20k to my 10k leader. And I'm pretty sure I combo here. So I don't want to take. Too deep and deep to the face. So I combo the cell, pseudo combo, and then sensu beam. So now I'm a 15k. So if he attacks me with digging and deep Vegeta, I could either negate it or I could just combo 10k and I'll be fine because of the sensu beam. So he plays a dragon ball that he got. Now you should have seven already. Yeah, so he wishes. Gets the, the desire card back. And then unless he summons something, there's not really much I can do. Just except for nicking or combo out. Because all the the only negate is the the Bojack yellow one. Go well, if you play something, I could play a Gohan if I have any hand, but I don't, I don't remember if I do have one. So then he plays the desires with using his wish. Actually, no, he pays the energy. So he still has a wish. So he pays the energy. I'm looking at his graveyard, I mean his drop area to see what he has. I'm pretty sure he's gonna summon the Goku that becomes a 5k. So I'm reading it. Cause that one says you could summon a 3 drop, 15 or less. If I'm not mistaken. I don't have the car with me right now, so I don't really remember. But yeah, he summons the Goku. So now because it's a 4 life or less, it's a 5k. The good thing is that he's tapped out right now, so he cannot EX evolve. But against Janemba, doesn't really matter. Like right here, he summoned that. And... Since it's a 5k, even if I summon Kohan, the counterplay, I cannot send it back because it's a 5 it's a five drop now, it's not a 4 drop. And, uh, and now I have a green energy to for the Vegeta counterplay, but even then, like I said, it's a 5 drop now, it's not a 4 drop, so I cannot really do anything about it. So that was a really good play on his part. Now he's attacking me. I take it. He passes my turn. And he just leaves it there because he knows that the Goku safe. There's no, I don't have any removal. The only thing with the other version of Janemba is you have Demon Sword, but my I'm, I'm at three energy right now. I'm not a four, so I cannot really summon it. So I attack the pink size. 
draw emails to more and that's a die Right here I'm thinking what else I could do, but like I said, tricolor Janemba doesn't really do anything, just attacks with the leader and passes. So that's what I do. So uh, like tricolor Janemba is it's it's pretty strong when you have the cards or the energy. Right, but against the Goku, since it's a five drop already, I cannot really do anything. Now he's place another counter. Because I'm only attacking with Alir, I'm not attacking with anything else. Now he attacks me with Digging Deep Vegeta. So yeah, I take it. And summons another pink size. I think he's trying to search for something, but I don't remember what. Oh yeah, there it is. He was trying to search for the secret. The Super Saiyan 4 Goku. So now, at this point when I sell a secret, I'm thinking of what to do when he does it, but the only thing I can do is to put it in rest mode, but then he could just pitch two red cards and put it back to active, so the only thing that will stop it is Mafuba, but unfortunately I don't run it in this version of Janemba. If it was the mono blue version, I would have Mafuba in it. But since this is tricolor, I don't have it. So see, he exe bombs. And here I'm thinking about it. And then I play the Champa. Which is like I said, it's the only thing I can really do. I can't really do anything else. So I come, all I have to do is just force him to keep dropping his hand. And hopefully he doesn't have enough to kill me. Because all along on the, on the wish, wish side... He gives the any battle card 15k, which makes a secret a 60k when he attacks, and because he's already a 60k when he's attacking, I have to take a life. So that's what he's trying to do right now. So yeah, so this card to ex evolve. Now he discards two more red cards to put in active. And the thing is that it's not once per turn, so as long as you have red cards in hand, you could do it as many times as you have, as many times as, as long as you pitch two red cards. So, see right now he's already at 60k. Because it's, it's a 40k base, plus 20 more, 60. So right here, I don't want to take the, the damage, so, but I'm still going to take one because it's already a 60k. So I negate it, so I don't have to take more life than I have to. I restand my barriers. So right here, he does it again. And he's reading the card just to make sure that it could be any red card. And yeah, it could be any red card. So there he goes again. He pitches two. He attacks me again. So I negate. But I still have to take a life because it's already a 60k. So and every time he attacks, he gains five. So right now he's 65k, but he forgot to, to move the dice. But we already know. So... So yeah, that was game one. He had, he had like 12 cards in hand, so he just kept pitching two, attacking. Since that was a four life, so that was it. We moved on to next to second game. So he charges triple flash. I don't think he sees trip triple flash at all this game. I don't think he even played it all three games. 
so we're playing three games uh without siding so if i were to side against this deck i would definitely put mafubas just to stop the secret i think that will give me a really big advantage but he will also play probably top no no tn yeah tn so i couldn't i could not withstand energy but but it could go either way so here it choices a topo since like i said i'm only attacking with the leader there's no point of having that card in the hand so that's a really good charge on his part so right here i, I noticed i milled the piccolo which i think he needed because he hasn't summoned anything you know he does attack with the leader also that he now he's gonna do something he combos the digging deep So another card I could side right right here will be Jockos or the other card that's like the Jocko. So I will play and send back the DND back to his Sam. That way he couldn't just wish it back. So I can say attack, draw, and then he mills two. So either I helped him out because I mowed the Dragon Ball. So he takes it, obviously. I cannot really kill him. So then he charges another counter, plays a Dragon Ball, plays Pink Size. Right here, I could play a counter play, but I don't know if it's worth actually sending back the Pink Size. So I'd rather just wait for when he does the desires and brings out the Digging Deep. So I hear he, I'm pretty sure he already had one on the other Goku, so that's why he decided to get the pink size to search for the secret. So the attacks, the leader's gonna give him 5k, making a 10k, right? So I have to either negate it or combo out or take it. So those are my only options. So now Pilaf searches for the Dragon Ball since the battle card is attacking. So he looked through his library, there was nothing. Now he's looking through his deck. For him, at this point, I think it's better for the Dragon Balls to be in his life since I'm not really gonna kill him through life because he does have a lot of cards in hand since he's a wish leader and he's always drawing. And then that red desire card, it just made it really good. Like The car. And assembling the squad, I don't think should have been made. And that's why a child's wish was banned. And then they decided to make more. <laughs> right, with the problem that we're having right now with with Shenron, right, with uh, World Peace, they decided to make more desires that bring back things from the drop area. I think the way to counter or like stop the abuse of those cards is just to make it once per turn. Like the mechanic in general, just to you can activate one desires per turn. Right, kind of like Pokemon, they can only play I think uh, support per turn. So I think that would be a good way to for not to ban that cards, but to kind of control them so people don't abuse it. Because Pan plays that desired card, and then even though it's not a wish leader, right? You could just play it just because they're a red leader, and then they awaken because uh, most of the red leaders just do the same thing. They just go for that digging deep play, 
the attack like a two a two energy right when before you had to wait to three energy to play that card so now it's pretty good so right here attacks me i actually negate it because i don't wanna i don't wanna take more life i don't wanna combo either so i play the bardock i mean not the bardock the bojack so now he has to mill the card but since his auto goes first, he searches first and then he has to mill since he's a turn player. So he's searching the Dragon Ball. And then before I wait, I'm pretty sure he's gonna activate the desires to to get the Gindy. He plays the Dragon Ball. He's counting to see how many he has. <laughs> Pretty sure he has all seven already. So he plays another pink size. He's searching for that secret. So he gets another one. And the good thing about this is that it's not restricted, right? Like other cards, you can uh, once you look at the top five cards, you can uh, get the same card. So this one, you could get itself again. So it doesn't have that restriction. And it's top five, not top three, like some other cards. So he plays the third one that he just searched. So yeah, I'm pretty sure he's looking for the secret because he's trying to finish it. And there it is. He finds it. And as I'm pretty sure you guys have noticed that most of my GT stuff is hollow. And that is because when Mecha Freezer was a thing, I played GT OTK. Before I moved on into the more powerful version, which was the the monkey monkey version. So uh, I don't know you guys, but to me, and I, I really like the GT the GT series. So that's why I kind of like if anything GT comes out, I try to have it like max rarity, because. I just like, I like when he's small, you know, Super Saiyan 4, I'm hoping the Bandai does the dragons, so like the dragon season, hopefully they make a Omega Shenron, Secret Rare, or a Gogeta, Super Saiyan 4, Secret Rare. And then right here he charges uh, Radar, which later on we talked about it and then he said he shouldn't have done that. He said he kind of needed the Radar at the end. Because spoilers, like a, <laughs> I take this game because he can, he couldn't find one piece that he was missing. Because I think I mailed it. And then he said with the desires, he could he could have got in the back. I mean, with the radar, he could have gotten the back. So see right here, he's trying to to see if he has it in life because he played the the after image technique to take a life. So he's hoping that he will get it from the life. So he charges another piccolo because they're useless now. You see, like you could see, he he attacks with the lead with the leader first, which I don't know why he did that, but I think he wants to combo something from his hand, yeah. So he wants to combo the three drop Goku. Down the fury becomes a five drop if you're a four or less. And sorry guys, uh, most of these the names like you know they're kind of long. 
I don't want to say them or I just don't remember them at the, at this time. So, but you know which one it is. I mean, you've seen it right there. So he plays, plays the desires to bring back a Saiyan. Well, not it doesn't have to be a Saiyan, but actually, I think it does have to be a Saiyan. I look through his deck, I mean, to do his drop area to see what he's gonna try to get. And then he gets the Determined Super Saiyan, right? the 3 drop. Like I said, some of these names are long, so I kind of don't want to say them. I just, I'm just gonna try to say 3 drop Goku that turns into 5. Everything is gonna do his wish. There's gonna give so he's, he's giving that Goku a 15k, so he's now a 30k attacker. So he exit bombs to the victorious fist, the six drop, dual attack, triple no, yeah, dual attack. And he has double strike. And he has dual attack because when he attacks, he goes back to active mode once per turn. He doesn't technically have dual attack, but that's the auto that he has. So he. So now he's a 40k. Because. No, not a 40k. 25 Then that's all he could do in the game. He doesn't do anything else And he nearly wasted his wish So I just attack, I mill him, I ask for how many he has left, he has 3, so I just summon a Janemba and that's it, we go to game 3. So yeah, this time he didn't really do that much. So he's charging, he charges a super combo, which I think is weird, but against Janemba, you don't want to draw, you don't doesn't really matter since the leader is the only thing that's attacking you. Nice shuffle. So then he passes. So here I charge the dual color virus. Attack, we must two, we must the new Galligan. Which it doesn't really matter against your number since you don't summon anything. So then I pass, he charges triple flash. Place a dragon ball, attack the pink size. We just know what's gonna come next. He's gonna peel out, gonna search for a dragon ball, give the pink size a 5k boost, making it a 10k. Then he searches for the Dragon Ball since the battle card is attacking you. So yeah, so that's what the text does, right? He just with any little battle card, right? It could be a threat because it's already a 10k. So he just and because of the familiar bonds, right? When he activates it later on, he's gonna search for two more Dragon Balls. 
So that's why it's pilaf is not that bad anymore. Because now you could potentially search for three Dragon Balls instead of one, right? Which is a little faster than Shenron. Because Shenron only searches for two. So he summons digging deep. I'm tapped out. Uh, there's nothing much I can do. It's a six life. And then I was checking the coin, yes, familiar bonds does So you have to choose a red Saiyan, so it's only for Saiyans But it's 15 less or less And a 3 drop or less So, Digging Deep is a 3 drop and the Determined Super Saiyan is a 3 drop and 15 less, so Busted car, busted car So he goes, takes his life, going from 6 to 4 so now, now that Goku is active, right? So when he summons it, he's gonna be a fire drop. So even if I counter it with Gohan or the Vegeta, I cannot touch it because it's a fire drop, not a, not a four drop or less. But here I think I, I'm pretty sure I remember I had to, uh, like three, three of the, of the champas, so that's why I charge one. So I attack. I mail a dragon ball, which really helped them out right there, and the determined super saiyan. So now it's in the drop area. All it has to do is like the familiar bonds. Card. And then the X evolve and I mean it's looking pretty bad right now. So yeah, so as you guys could see, tricolor Janemba it's good against certain matchups but against this type of matchups they're not that good. Like he's really he could play really aggro uh, because of the the side card. Like a turn two, he could just bring out the digging deep, and it's gonna hurt. So, like I said, we, we were to side. I think I would side Jackals or the Kai. The select the Jackal, right? That sends back a combo card. Just so I could send back the dig and the Vegeta's back to his hand or anything he tried to combo that he's gonna try to like the familiar bonds on. And Mafuba right for the secret. I don't wanna be taking a life every time he attacks just because he has like twenty cards in hand, right? So yeah, like when this thing in DBG that came out, a lot of people were using it. And now because of familiar bonds, right, we've seen a lot more play now too. Because not a lot of people were using it anymore. Only Pan players and Baby Vegeta players, but now other people are starting to play now. Right, what P Love right now? Since it's a red wish leader, I could play this and then they could play it for free since they sell his sires. And they could have they have options for more plays than Pan and Baby Vegeta. And that too, I don't know why they made it so that you could search for two Dragon Balls. I think that's what what Pila went like it's just too good. There's no point for that desire to search for two Dragon Balls. It's already bringing something back and you and then you get two Dragon Balls, so you could draw two more cards. It's really good. It's really good. So yeah, now he has seven. He wishes. Gets back the family bonds. So now he's attacking for the second time. Mm. 
and that's why I, had, I haven't counter played anything because, like I said, the determined Super Saiyan is already a five drop. I cannot touch it with any other counter plays. The only thing will be the red Kaioken Goku, but since I'm not running red, red I cannot do anything. So now he's attacking me with his leader. I hear a combo because I don't want to be taking more life, right? Because I know he's going to try to go into the secret. Whether he has it in hand or he's going to search for it. And I want to be too low that with one attack he's just going to finish me off. But right now it's looking pretty bad already. I'm at 4 life. I have, I don't have my Fuba to stop the secret. All I can do is just hope for the best that he doesn't try it or then I mill it. Because those are the that's the only way I'm actually gonna win this game. If I mill it or he doesn't, or it's in the life, right? Because if he has it in hand already, then it's already game over. Because I'm a four life. All he has to do is just build up his hand, and that's it. All he needs is 10 cards in hand. So yeah, that's all he this leader does. Tag, they mill two, and then just pass. He does this. You don't summon anything unless you're kind of playing. That's about it. And then that one, since he went really aggro on me, right? Like we're at 3D energy. He's about to be quarter four. So it's really it's not looking great for me. Yeah, so he's so he combo off. Because he wants to keep on my life. Because the other play that he has, right, is just to keep attacking with digging deep. He doesn't necessarily have to go to the secret at this point. He just keep attacking me. Because sooner or later I'm gonna run out of negates. And since this this version doesn't run that many negates, like the mono blue. Or doesn't have that much combo power like the the mono blue version. Yeah, he attacks me with digging deep. I'm thinking about it. So I do negate because I don't want to be taking more life. At this point, he chooses to activate the auto, so he gives up. He goes back to active against 5k. He attacks again, so now it's at 20k, so I have a combo to go up to 25, but I take it. Now he X evolves into a victorious fist. So he attacks first. Yeah, he has to, it's gonna attack me first. Right, so then this card when he attacks, as long as he doesn't get my full buy, he's gonna gain 5k and he's gonna restand it, so that's the auto. So not even Toa can stop this. Can only take away double strike. But I cannot negate, I cannot take away the restands. As it is, Tua doesn't really negate dual attack since dual attack is a mechanic, and when the car attacks, it automatically goes back to to active mode at the end of the battle. So even if Tua takes away dual attack, the battle card still restands. So here's attacking me with the leader. He combos. I take it. 
Because at this point, I don't, I don't have that much stuff in my hand. Nah. Like, there's no, there's no point of negating. I'm just gonna try to hope they, since he's doing all this other place, I'm hoping that he doesn't have the secret in hand. So I'm just gonna try to take some life and then just negate the rest of the attacks. So now he attacks with, for the second time. So at this point I'm thinking he doesn't have the secret, so I negate with leader effect. So he passes. So yeah, he probably didn't have the secret right now. Now I charge the viewer since it's useless, right? You cannot take the only thing I could take away is uh, the double strike. But against digging deep and victorious fist, it doesn't really matter. Let's check on every stance and gain 5k. So attack, he mills. Right, if this was mono blue, I will try to I, I will try to hold my my awaken, some my not for energy, summon demon sword. Warp one of his cards and then awaken. But since it's not mono blue, I, all I can do is attack and pass. And even if I had Kami, I can activate it since he only has three battle cards right now. And it wouldn't kill the the victorious fist, it would only kill the other two. So now again, digging deep, right? Making it work. Just gotta take a life to his stance, kill 5k. So I combo, but at this point, like I remember, I didn't really have that much stuff to stop it. Right? So it's pretty much over, He, he's gonna win, regardless of what I do. I cannot stop everything. So yeah, guys, okay, so that was the match, right, between me and my brother. All right, so we hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, uh, the next video I'm gonna try to do the deck profile on the online leader. So just in case you guys were interested in it, I'll let you guys know when I upload it. But remember, subscribe to our channel. This is our first video. I'm gonna try to make more gameplay videos as we get closer to nationals. That's what we're trying to play test, try different things. And then we're gonna try to show it to you guys. Right now, keep nothing a secret. Just try everything we try, all the matches we do, how they go, how our thoughts are, like what are the matchups, what could we side in certain matchups, like right now. Like I was saying, I could probably, I could probably side the Mafuba, right? Alright guys, so we hope you enjoyed this one. So subscribe to our channel. Click the bell icon to get notified when I upload the, the deck profile for the online GT version that we did. Alright guys, see you next time.